Hello everyone, Christina here. Thanks for joining me for a follow-up to my craft room tour that I posted right before the Christmas holiday. I'm back from vacation and while my craft room is still semi-clean, this is a little bit of a better representation of what it looks like. Mainly my main area, I've got more stuff out that's, you know, this stuff has been out since my live on Wednesday. So just gonna go through everything and answer some questions. There were about eight specific things that came up over and over again in the comments. So I'm going to address those eight things now. The biggest question that I got was the dimensions of my craft room. So here is like the blueprint for my craft room. I did have help from an interior designer, uh, Michelle. She's the same one who uh, helped me with the, the design of my craft room at my old house. So she did a great job with this. Anyway, there's a lot of measurements here. We don't need to go through that. The main points are right here. The room is about 15.8 feet by 17.9 feet, which is a few feet extra in each dimension in comparison to my old craft room. The island, and there, you know, there's eight foot ceilings. The island dimension is 4.3 feet by 6.5 feet, and it is a 36 inch height. So it's like a, a standard kitchen counter height. The island in my old craft room was even taller than that. And I kind of enjoyed having it even a little bit taller, but this one worked out great. So this was the basic um, floor print or floor plan, I should say. Let me see if I can get this up here. Of this craft room, you can see all of the, the banks of drawers and cabinets around the outer edge, and then this center island, and then the sink over here. Some of you asked about specific dimensions for the cabinets. You can, I mean, if you want to pause and look closely here, you can see them, but I'm really not sharing the actual dimensions because all of the cabinets, with the exception of the two IKEA units surrounding the sink, were uh, custom built with a cabinet tree company. And so if you're going to be doing custom cabinets, you're going to be talking with the company and they will come up with the perfect measurements for your space. So the measurements that I have for mine most likely won't really apply to your space. All right. So another question that I got that was about this particular area of the room was, I write it down so I remember it, the cameras and setup. Um, this has a lot of different components to it. So I'm going to do a separate video, hopefully soon within the next month, going over what cameras I use and for what, and then a really simple setup for streaming if you want to try that. So watch for that. I'm going to do that in a separate video. The other item that I'm going to do a separate video for is right here. There were a few questions about my postage stamp storage and um, I'll go ahead and link to the books that I use. They're available on Amazon, but a few people wanted to walk through it. They wanted to see all the stamps, so I will do that soon. All right, back to my desk or my main area. People were wondering about this chair. Got my sweater on the back of it, sorry. It looks like that. Um, this is actually a, a chair from a steel case. This is a think chair and it's a stool. So if you go to their website, and I'll link this all down below, if you go to their website, you can actually build a custom chair. You can pick the color of the fabrics, things like that. And you can also customize it to be a taller chair, a stool height. So that's what I did many, many years ago. So I have this, oh gosh, when did I get this chair? It would have been in 2009. So... Was it 2009? Yeah, it was 2009. It was right after I left Stampin' Up. So I've had it for going on 13 years. And it is it is a workhorse. It's a champ. It works out great. Now, it's not cheap. It's a, it's a pricey little bugger, right? So I wrote it down. Steel case, steel case think stool. You're looking at upwards of a thousand bucks. But you know what? I've had it for 12 years. I think the investment has been worth it. So... Um, Love this chair. I love it so much that I got the regular chair version for my computer, which is in a different room that I use, you know, for my office work. Um, same chair, but just, you know, shorter. 
And then when my husband was looking for a good office chair, when he started working from home, when the pandemic started, he ended up getting the same chair as well. So it's a great chair and it just, it adapts to like the height of your body and it adjusts and things like that on its own. That's why they call it a think chair. So I really love it. So that was another really common question. Another question was about the flat files. Like, what are they? Where can you get them? So I looked it up and I wrote it down. These are interim flat files from globalindustrial.com. And I also got the base for each of them. So there's two, two of the flat file um, whole structures. And then they each have a four inch base on the bottom. And the reason why you want the base on the bottom is so that when you pull out the, the bottom most drawer, that um, it's not gonna like hit your feet and everything like that. So you can get, a, you get away without the bases. You can even stack these on top of each other. But if you put them side by side, it's a, it's a good sized window seat. And you could even go with one and have it be a window seat. Speaking of the window seat, there were a few questions asking about that. You couldn't see it too much because I had my Christmas tree on top of it before. But this is like a big piece of memory foam with fabric around it. It was custom made. Um, my interior designer, I guess in their shop, they have some seamstresses. Um, and they just made it for me. They also made the, the valances on the windows. So there we go. Another really common question for my craft room tour was specifically about this cart. This is an Ikea Razcog cart. And you all wanted to know where I got the insert for my Copics. So I got them from an, an Etsy seller. I got it from an Etsy seller, um, our gray barn on Etsy and I checked and they still sell them. Um, it was about $55 and I've had it for years and it has been worth it. It fits every single color that Copic makes. And then down below, I have some bags that have my refills in them, my reinkers. Um, unfortunately, I don't think those bags are sold anymore. They were at the container store for quite some time. They're probably linked in my old craft room tour from like 2016, but I could not find them this time around. So fortunately I don't have any of those, but there are these bags that Kathy Rakuzin did with, oh, Pear Blossom Press. Is that what it is? Can't remember, but um, I'm not sure if they're still selling these. I will check with Kathy and if they are, I will link those down below. And these can hold not as many as those, but quite a few. And you can just keep them open and get a similar look. Also in this section of my craft room, a common question was about the organization in this drawer. A lot of you were asking, what is that? Where can I get it? And I bought it on Amazon. It is the Family Spice Drawer Organizer set of two. And the reason why I wanted a set of two is because if you can see right here, this ends right here. So the, the actual width of one of these was only to here but I wanted it to fill the entire drawer. So I having a second set allowed me to nestle another one right underneath. And it comes with uh, three of the taller kind of shelves. And then in the back, you can see there's that little short one. So um, it was enough for all of my distressed reinkers. And I think I'm gonna use, you know, I bought a few more of those and I'm gonna use them down here for alcohol inks once I start organizing this drawer. So yeah, there's, oh, this one jumped. Come back, put that back in there. One last uh, answer to your questions, or I guess this is a couple of them. Um, first, a bunch of you were asking, where did you get these shelves? What are they? Well, we got them at Home Depot. My husband installed them and it is a, 72 inch long shelf from Rubbermaid. And then on the shelf itself, it said you needed five brackets. So then we found five brackets and they are, let me see, it is crates and pallet black steel shelf brackets, five per shelf. So the next question about these shelves was, what are the bottles on? You can see that right there, they're on these like three tiered, 
little step units. Those are actually Copco three-tier spice organizers. And I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four of the 15 inch, and then one 10 inch. And it's the perfect length for the 72 inch shelf. And those are available on Amazon. Everything that I'm able to link that I've mentioned, I will link down below in the video description and at my blog. So if there is anything in particular that you're looking for from this video, I most likely have it linked down below. So that's the end of my video, short and sweet. I'm hoping to do that video showing my different cameras and things like that. I'm hoping to do that soon, as well as the postage stamp book. So watch for that. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys on Monday for day two of the Valentine's Day card series.